Hi guys, welcome back to another video and welcome to my channel if you're new. Hi, my name is Femke and in today's video I wanted to swatch and kind of like a review 8 new polishes from the Essence Shine Last and Go collection. On the bottle it says gel nail polish but these are just regular nail polishes, you don't have to cure them. And before I go in with the swatches I always apply my favorite base coat. This one is by Catrice, it's really nice and yeah, let's go. Even though I'm just swatching these colors on one of my nails, I always apply a base coat first because some colors are just so highly pigmented, they can stain even if you only wear them for like a minute or two. But this first color that I got is number 57 and it is called Don't Stop Believing. This was one of the eight nail polishes from their regular nail polish collection line that I was kind of disappointed in for some reason. I really love the color. Color. It's like a whiny kind of reddish dark pink, like a purple kind of red, like burgundy. I, it's a difficult one to describe for me personally because I feel like because I was quite disappointed um, due to the sheerness of this one, um, it looked quite pink on the nails, kind of like a pinkish purple wine kind of color. I don't know, I just really hope that this one was more opaque and more pigmented, but I am actually going to apply three layers of this one to make it as good and opaque as possible. I don't know, this one it just it wasn't my cup of tea. I was already kind of like thrown off because usually Essence nail polishes are really really good and especially their Shine Last and Go collection. Nah, I was just, uh, I think this one is kind of like a fail. I just wished it was more opaque, more creamy. Here you can see it is quite streaky as well and it actually picks up a little bit of the pigment every time you go over your nail with the brush. So yeah, that was a little bit of like a disappointment. But other than that, it's a really nice color. I think it would be beautiful if you apply it on top of an opaque black layer. So yeah, there are a couple of ways you can actually make this color work out for you but on its own I feel like three coats is way too much. But of course if you are into colors like this they can be really classy but yeah if you're looking for something that's a little bit more opaque I would skip this or just apply it on top of a black. Nonetheless it's a nice color it's like a very vampy romantic kind of shade but as you can see here it just picked up way too much pigment around cuticle area and yeah just skip it if you're like me and you're not into that. <laughs> but next to another color which surprised me a lot. Um, I love coral colors and this one is 58 Endless Summer. By the way, all of these polishes I bought myself. I'm not sponsored or anything to do a video about them. I just love Essence Cosmetics nail polishes as well as Catrice polishes, by the way. But you guys know me. If you've been following me for a longer period of time, these are definitely two of my top favorite nail polish brands. But this beautiful coral color, it's nicely opaque. I think you can like make it a one coater if you have like shorter nails than I do. Um, I personally don't like my natural like smile line to peek through or shine through. Um, so yeah, I think you can make this a one coater if you apply a little bit of a thicker coat. But if you're like me and you like to apply thinner coats, then make sure your nail polish dries a little quicker and you don't have to wait like an hour for your manicure to be dry. Just go in with two coats. I'm swatching this one with two layers as well. It's quite nice. Again, make sure you don't put too much pressure on the brush because it will pick up a little bit of that pigment and color if you go over the nail a little bit too much. So don't overwork these polishes. They're actually quite easy. You can just go like swoop, swoop on the nail, done. Let it sit for like five minutes to dry and just swoop over it twice more before it's completely opaque. It's a little bit streaky here, but that was just my bad. But it's a really nice color. The next one I'm showing is so sparkly. This one is 59 and the name is Sparks Fly. It is such a soothing name. It really matches this polish. It's like a silver, super shimmery, glittery base with some like coppery kind of bigger glitters in here. It's a really nice mixture of glitter colors together and it kind of reminds me of like champagne mixed with like silver. I don't know. 
it just reminds me of a really fancy dinner party when you have like silver cutlery and stuff like that and just wine and champagne and just one big feast i'd say but yeah it is quite sheer because it is such a shimmery glittery polish but it is quite buildable i'm just going to swatch it with two layers in this video just to show you how far you can get uh, with two coats it's really nice though because it has such a densely packed like shimmery base it is a clear base though but it's so packed with that silver glittery shimmer you can definitely build this one up especially if you have shorter nails you don't have like a long free edge like i do i think you can make it completely opaque in just two decent layers but this is two coats it's sh like still a little sheer on the tip of my nails but it's really nice to use this in nail art designs as well i actually made a really nice design with like three or four of the colors that i'm showing right here which will be edited and uploaded pretty soon as well um like stay tuned if you want to see more about that but this next one is number 60 crazy in love and i'm pretty much crazy in love with this color you guys know me i love my muted dusty kind of rose mauve 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 kind of colors how do you pronounce that i always say like mauve or mauve i don't know it's that's like one of those like words that no one really knows how to pronounce and everyone says it a little bit different but anyway this is like a purpley pink mauve color it's very dusty very muted and it's like that beautiful nude color that you can wear it for any occasion and it just looks fabulous and this is actually just one coat of this polish it's a one coater people that is insane i am pretty much crazy in love about it as i mentioned earlier the next color is such a beaut you guys know me i don't really like um, green polishes but this one is 61 running wild i have already made a nail polish of the week video about it that is how much i love this one i'm pretty much obsessed I don't like greens, but this is one of those like muted mint green ones with a gorgeous golden shimmer in there. Like that shimmer is insane. It is so stunning and it really makes it a super unique polish as well. But I'm swatching it here with, I think I actually added two coats. But like I mentioned in my nail polish of the week video about this color as well, it could need a third layer or just two thicker coats but just look at that shimmer it is so beautiful and these polishes actually dry quite fast as well you only have to wait for like three minutes in between each layer before you can go in with your second coat or even your top coat oh by the way in this like swatch and review video i'm not adding a top coat just to show you what the polishes look like on their own with just the amount of layers but this was already 61 running wild if you want to know more about it check out my nail polish of the week video um, you can just find it in my nail polish of the week video playlist or just look it up in my recent uploads at my channel but yeah let's go on to a beautiful ochre like mustardy yellow tone this one is 62 and it's called walking on sunshine again this one I had my doubts about it, whether or not it would be a one, two, or even a three coder. I do feel like it could have been a little bit more thick, a little bit more creamy, um, and just a little bit more opaque on its own, but it is such a cool color. This is one of those tones that is beautiful to wear in fall as well, even though the eight polishes that I'm showing in this specific video are all from the new Spring Summer Collection 2020 by Essence Cosmetics. They are in store since March, if I remember correctly, and yeah, if you can't get your hands on them in stores, just go to Instagram to the essence cosmetics page and just ask where you can get them near you or maybe online or something like that because i do know that essence is sold of course in europe i've seen it in the us i've seen it in asia as well but of course i'm not quite sure about each and every single country where you can get them so just ask online if you're not sure but this is two coats of walking on sunshine it is a nice mustardy yellow it does need a third coat in my opinion on my nails at least 
Then the next one is definitely one of my favorites. This one is 63 Genie in a Bottle. It is one of those beautiful creamy polishes that just looks stunning with just two thin coats. It's kind of like a washed denim kind of color. It is super creamy. There's no shimmer or glitter in here. And I've also used this one in one of my upcoming design videos. And I just really love the outcome of it. And by the way, um, I did add two layers of base coat when I wore that design that I am going to share soon for like two weeks. And it didn't stain my nails at all. I'm not quite sure how like stainable this color is if you would just apply one coat of base coat but with two decent layers of base coat and two decent layers of this color I didn't have any discoloration or staining to my nails so that is good to know. It is quite pigmented but it won't discolor your nails. But just look at that color. It is so pretty. It's nicely evened out, leveled out. You don't have to overwork this one. I would prefer to not overwork these polishes because I mentioned earlier in the video, they might get a little streaky if you overwork them too much. But if I could recommend just one color from these eight for you to get, it is definitely this one next to the like dusty mauve color that I showed earlier. Then another color is this nice nice nude color kind of like a beigey nude this one is 64 and it's called ready for it it has a slight pinkish like sheen or glow to it but on the nails to be honest you don't really see that popping up all that much you really have to be up close and personal to the nail apply like two to three layers to actually see that shimmer or that glow so it's not as obvious as the golden shimmer that was in that minty green color but it is out there you know like you can see it if you're really up close to it and if you have applied a decent amount of layers but it's just simply not really in your face out there. But nonetheless, it's a very nice color. Again, don't overwork the polish because as you can see here, you will need like a third coat to make it completely opaque if you apply it very streaky. But this first coat is actually quite decent. There's just a little bit of patchiness going on. And that is something that the second layer almost completely made vanish. So yeah, I'm not disappointed in this color at all. I have to say I'm actually pretty much pleased with all of the new colors. Apart from the first one, which was just too sheer to my liking. But that's just a personal preference. And yeah, let me know in the comments down below low what color is your favorite i'm really curious to hear about that maybe you already got some new shades so yeah let me know if you're planning on getting some or let me know which ones you've already got but that was the last like the eight and final color already here you can see the eight colors all together if i would recommend some colors definitely go for the blue and the dusty mauve color but that minty green with the golden shimmer is really gorgeous as well all of these polishes i got from my local drugstore but yeah just ask essence where you can get them yourself they are only one euro 69 and they contain eight milliliters a bottle but thank you guys so so much for watching and i hope to see you in my next video